Quigley is there. Can he goes towards the front post, headed towards goal, good save, Charles has scored the rebound, I think he hit the post from Ben House, Luque crosses it back in, this one's not so good, and then Fleet will clear, this one is just a standard one, on a race, he's there, heads it back across, goal, Clark was coming in, Candy comes in, puts it wide, Grimes and Ugra are trying to find space, there's a couple of people at the front post, it's going to be dinked towards that front post, it's headed on by Reed. Robinson does well to get there first, and then Dagenham can't clear it, Odeloy is there, deflected, could go in, Reed does score! Epsley have taken the lead, Tommy Odeloy had the shot, it was deflected, the fastest man to react was number 23, Alex Reed. They've lost seven of the last eight, and at the moment it will be eight in nine if it finished this way, but there is plenty of time to go in this game. The worrying thing, Mick, is that Dagenham have created almost nothing in the second half. Well, as I said, they've had plenty of balls, as keep saying, in front of the Ebb Street back four. They've not really. That's a nasty challenge. He's gone on this. There's trouble on this one. It was Mitch Brundle lunging for the ball. One, I don't think it was a red, personally, but the referee is reaching for his pocket, and Mitch Brundle has been sent off. In around the goals. Throw in for Dagenham. It goes high in the air. Kroll will challenge with it. He wins the header. Dagenham still, as a reminder, down to 10 men, but they're fighting hard. McQueen chases down the ball, but Dagenham do win a loose ball. They can spread it wide. McQueen's through in the middle. A chance. Will Wright's overlapping on the right hand side. He goes to Will Wright inside the area. Shoots. Great save. Goal for Dagenham on Redbridge. Checky Candy taps in for three yards. The 10 men of Dagenham have pulled one back. We've got five minutes to go. And there is the full-time whistle here on Dagger's Player.